Hawaii is a place where the gods of the old world still hold their power. It's one of the most remote islands on earth and despite being an advanced modern society, can easily fall victim to the power of mother nature and be wiped clear in a moment. The natives in Hawaii have always known this and still recognize the power of the ancient gods. Pele is the goddess of volcanoes and fire. She is a well-known deity within Hawaiian mythology and is notable for her contemporary presence and cultural influence as an enduring figure from ancient Hawaii. She is said to have originally traveled from Kahiki, a distant ancestral homeland, to the Hawaiian Islands, arriving on the island of Maui first, and then journeying to the other islands, before finally settling in the crater of Kilauea on the Big Island. During Pele's time on Maui, we have several stories of her setting fires to parts of the island. The conflict between Pele and the rain and agricultural deities on Maui is a significant story within the Hawaiian mythology, illustrating the interactions and rivalries among different gods and forces of nature. This narrative underscores the themes of power struggles, territorial disputes, and the balance between different aspects of the natural world. While deities may vary across versions of the story, the general essence remains the same. The conflict between Pele and the rain and agricultural deities begins when Pele arrives on the slopes of Haleakala, the dormant volcano on Maui. Her presence and fiery nature disrupts the existence of order and harmony maintained by these local deities, who control rain and the fertility of the lands. As Pele's volcanic eruptions and fiery temperament intensify, they threaten the balance that the rain and agricultural deities work to maintain. These deities are angered by Pele's actions and they attempt to counter her destructive influence. They use their powers to bring rain and promote fertility in an effort to subdue Pele's fiery eruptions and prevent her from spreading destruction across Maui. However, Pele's determination and power prove to be a formidable challenge. In some versions of the story, the conflict escalates leading to a fiery showdown between Pele and the deities associated with the water and agriculture. The outcome of these clashes result in fires that burn many parts of the land of Maui. Pele was born from the female spirit named Hamea. This spirit is important when talking about Hawaii's gods as she descended from the Mother Earth and Wakia, the Sky Father, both descendants of the Supreme Beings. Pele is also known as she who shapes the sacred land. Kilauea, the currently active volcano that is located on the island of Hawaii and is still being extensively studied, many Hawaiians believe Kilauea to be inhabited by a family of fire gods. One of the sisters being Pele who is believed to govern Kilauea and is responsible for controlling its lava flows. Her home is believed to be in the fire pit at the summit in the caldera but her domain encompasses all volcanic activity in the Hawaiian Islands. Pele shares features similar to deities inhabiting other volcanoes, as in the case of the Canary Islands, among the aboriginal Guanches. Pele is considered to be the rival of the Hawaiian goddess of snow, Poliahu. One myth tells that Poliahu had come from Mauna Kea with her friends to attend sled races down the grassy hills. Pele came disguised as a beautiful stranger and was greeted by Poliahu. However, Pele became jealously enraged at the goddess of Mauna Kea. She opened the caverns of the mountain and threw fire from them towards Poliahu, making the snow goddess flee towards the summit. Poliahu was finally able to grab her now burning snow mantle and throw it over the mountain. Earthquakes shook the island as the snow mantle unfolded until it reached the fire fountains chilling and hardening the lava. The rivers of lava were driven back to Mauna Loa and Kilauea. Later battles also led to the defeat of Pele and confirmed the supremacy of the snow goddess in the northern portion of the island and Pele in the southern. A legend states that Pele herself occasionally warns the locals of impending eruptions and fires, appearing in the form of either a beautiful young woman or an elderly woman with white hair, sometimes accompanied by a small white dog, and always dressed in a red moo moo. 
Pele is also said to walk along the roads near Kilauea, but will vanish if passerby stop to help her, similar to the resurrection of Mary or vanishing hitchhiker legends. The passerby is then obliged to warn others of suffering misfortune in the next eruption. Another legend, Pele's curse, states that her wrath will fall on anyone who removes an item from her islands. Every year, numerous small natural items are returned by post to the National Park Service by tourists seeking Pele's forgiveness. Volcanic eruptions are considered by some to be manifestations of the goddess's temperament and her interactions with humans and other deities. Pele's fiery eruptions can be seen as a way she expresses her emotions, including anger, jealousy, passion. When she's provoked or slighted, her reactions are often depicted as creating fiery winds or lava flows. These fires are not only a reflection of her power and personality, but also serve to shape the land and create new geographical features on the Hawaiian Islands. Pele is often seen as the protector of her land, particularly the volcanic landscapes of the Hawaiian Islands. In Hawaiian mythology and cultural beliefs, Pele's connection to the land and her role as a guardian are significant aspects of her identity. Many Hawaiians believe that Kilauea is a manifestation of Pele's presence and power. She is believed to reside within the volcano's caldera and lava flows themselves. As such, she is seen as protecting and overseeing this specific area, but her connection to the land goes far beyond the physical presence of the volcanoes. She is also associated with various sacred sites, caves, and other natural features across all of the islands. These places are considered holy and are often treated with respect due to their connection to Pele. Traditional Hawaiian culture places a strong emphasis on living in harmony with the land and the natural environment. The Hawaiian people often approach Pele and her land with respect, leaving offerings and practicing rituals as a sign of reverence, and to seek her protection when visiting volcanic areas. The stories and cultural practices related to Pele emphasize the importance of understanding the power of the land and its potential dangers. Hawaiians often attribute their survival and well-being to Pele's watchful eye and her role in shaping the islands. It's important to note that while the goddess is seen as a protector of the land, she is also depicted as a deity with a dynamic and passionate personality. Some stories depict her as challenging individuals who show disrespect or disregard for the land and her power often resulting in fiery confrontations. This aspect of Pele's character reinforces the idea that the land should be treated with care and reverence, and when it is not, the unstoppable force of Pele's wrath comes to destroy it.